Hello, and Dan Perry here, and welcome to TCPIP Basics Part 6. In this video, we're going to introduce you to the uh, IP version 4 addresses. So we're going to examine the addresses and look at the format for them. In this video, we're only going to discuss TCPIP version 4. Uh, remember, your computer works in bits, binary digits, switches turned on and off. Now, an IP address, the version 4 addresses at least, are 32 bits long. That's 32 switches or bits to make up the address. Well, looking at powers of 2, 32 uh, bits, that's 2 to the 32 or 32nd possible values. That gives us somewhat over 4 billion possible addresses. Now, a binary version of a TCP IP address will look like this top number with all the ones and zeros. I've actually spread it out a little bit, grouping them together in groups of eight to make it a little easier to read, but try to imagine having to work with numbers, writing those down, and working with numbers in that format. Well, the decimal version, that's not much better. That's 1.6 billion in some, and still, still not an easy number to work with and understand as we later get into how the addresses work. <clears throat> so what we use for TCP IP addresses is something called dotted decimal notation. With dotted decimal notation, we group each of those or group our 32-bit value into four groups of eight or four bytes and then uh, represent each of those four bytes as a decimal number. We separate those with a period. So if we take the binary number shown on this slide and we convert each of those bytes to a decimal number and then separate each of them with a period or a dot, we get 10.10.240.15. And this is the dotted decimal notation that we will be using for TCP IP addresses. Now, you may say, that doesn't look all that much better. Well, as we start working with them, you're going to see that quite often we work with them in groups or by breaking them down in groups of 8 or 16 or 24 bits and those make logical breaks to make the working make working with addresses um, much easier. Now, dotted decimal numbers uh, would not be much better than a decimal number until we see how those numbers are used, how we work with them, and how we break down and work typically at one octet or one of those groups of eight, one of those bytes at a time. Now, next time we're going to continue looking at our TCP IP addresses, get into how we work with them, how, they, how they're calculated, and the dotted decimal notation will then start to make sense.